Uh, I picked Iceland because uh, I always thought about Iceland as this, uh, you know, kind of exotic country uh, up in the north. And uh, so when it appeared on the list of universities uh, that I could go to, it was immediately, uh, you know, choice number one for me. It's out there when you think of traveling. Not many people think of Iceland, and when I came across it, it's I thought it's probably an experience of a lifetime. So I thought I'd follow that up and uh, give it a go. Because Iceland has some kind of mystery and it's kind of exotic for me. Because I thought it was a very unique experience. Uh, most of the people, I believe, go to Spain, go to Germany, go in the rest of Europe. But Iceland is a one-time experience. They gave me a list of countries that I could choose from. And as I was looking through the list, I just... I came across all the countries that people typically study abroad to, and I knew that I was looking for an adventure. And so when I came across um, Iceland, I thought to myself, well, I've never thought about going there before. Uh, I chose Reykjavik University uh, because I was very appealed to the business program that the school offers, uh, and also that uh, the majority of classes are taught in English, which is not very common on the undergraduate level. Because uh, to my knowledge, it's uh, one of the best universities in Iceland, and uh, my university at home had a partnership with the uh, Reykjavik University. But uh, I think Iceland is a great country to start a career, to build some partnerships between the countries, and of course, I just fell in love with Iceland. So. Um, the teachers are amazing. They come from all over the world. Um, there's this faculty of 500 here, and they come from over 26 different countries. That proves to me as a student that my university really cares about giving me the best professors it can. There's a, such a wide selection of courses and also experienced teachers that can offer a great deal of information. Uh, yeah, I heard uh, Reykjavik University had a good business program and uh, it also came recommended by a friend of mine who studies here as well. Um, my classes that I've been taking are actually really engaging as far as the material that they offer me and the setting is just really great. Um, the energy that's in the building and with the students is kind of like the energy that Reykjavik has to offer. It's just always there. They're just very welcoming, especially to foreigners here. They love to speak English, which is really it just, it just takes a lot of pressure off of us. So The most surprising thing in Iceland, I would say, is the landscape. The landscape here is stunning. I'm so surprised by the volcano, the mountain ranges, everything, the geothermal, the plants, the plants, everything here. The city, Reykjavik itself, has a lot to offer as far as culture goes downtown it's really great it's got like this old charm there's individual restaurants and individual like coffee houses and bars and each one of them has its own little like personality and there's something for everyone down there then during the weekend it's it's quite something uh, you, you can see all the people on the street and uh, and basically your partying starting from 10 o'clock in the evening until 6 o'clock in the morning so nothing to say about that I always had a fantastic time um, some of the things I like to do in my spare time is um, spend spend a lot of time with the students outside of school. There's always the, you know, some parties always going on uh, every single night, so uh, you never get bored here in Reykjavik. Well, I think the Icelandic weather is as surprising as the Icelandic culture. There's a, there's a saying in Iceland that says, uh, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. And uh, you can see that the weather is changing from five minutes to the other. You've got sun, then you've got rain, you've got amazing colors. I mean, like... Uh, the weather's not as, been a, as extreme as I thought, but it's been uh, pretty good so far. Uh, not too much snow, not as windy as I expected. And uh, so far it's been great, and, <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> uh, the weather surprises you every day, doesn't it? So uh, it's a great place to be, so definitely do come to Iceland. <laughs>